Hey guys, it's Randy Orton Fan 2011 back here once again, and it's time to start the group stage of the PORWC In N Out Burger World Cup Series. This is the first of six rounds in the group stage, so the first round will be at Daytona. So now we are down to 12 nations as we as we start the group stage, and of course, all three of these, all 36 car, 36 drivers, they want to make they want to make an impact and do well for their country. Of course, um. No driver can afford to make a mistake, even though it's early in the uh, group stage. Remember that that just an early an early um an early wreck for for all of one nation can make all the difference in each group. Remember that the top two in each group in each of the three groups will make the playoffs, and then two wild cards as well. Now here's the situation that you want to be in. You want to have not only one member of your team. Not only one one member of your team do well, but you want to have all three members of your team do exceptionally well because really that is what will determine the points. That is what will determine the points. So if you win the race, you get thirty six points. There will be besides by the way, there will be no bonus points for leading a lap, leading at the halfway point, and leading the most laps. So yeah. So remember, the winner will get thirty six points. Second place thirty five points. Third place thirty four points, and so on and so on. So really, the most amount of points you can get if all three if all three of drivers of one nation sweep the podium, then basically the most amount of points you can get is a hundred and five. On the other side of the spectrum, if all three or um three members of your nation do poor, then the least amount of points you can get is six. So yes, if um if that really does happen, then it will be a ninety nine point margin between those um those two nations. We'll take a look at the starting lap, then we'll get the command to fire up the engine, so stay tuned. Look at your starting lineup. Native of Israel, Alyssa Anderson will be starting on the pole, and that is her. Um, that and she would certainly love to make an impact for uh, Team Israel, as you know they did do very well in their qualifying race. But now that we have a field of 36, it will be all the difference here to see what will happen. We have another new rookie here in the 31, Evan Gattuso. Of course, he would certainly love to make an impact on um in my series. Yours truly starting in third. Here's one of the rookies we ought to be on the lookout for for season three, and that is Luke Martin. I've heard some good things about him, and of course he will certainly love to make he would certainly love to make an impact. Be on the lookout for him. Starting fifth from Team Finland is Max Skinner. Starting sixth from Team Spain is Jake Rogers. Seventh from also seventh from Team Ireland is Ben Paul. Eighth from Team Spain is Danny Wells. Ninth from Team Germany is Richard Earnhardt, and tenth. Starting on, uh, for Team Mexico is Hunter Combs. So that is your top 10. Now it's time to get the World Cup Series underway with those famous words of motorsports. So, uh, drivers, start your engines. Well, that was a little, uh, that was a little plain, but whatever. This race will be 15 laps long. Now, a lot of you guys were kind of concerned about what happened in the Pepsi Cup Series race. I did check the drafting distance this time. It is 1.1, and that is fair enough for me. Of course, 12 nations. Only 8 will move on into the knockout stage. This is the first step into making it into the knockout stages. That pace car better make it to pit road soon. And it will. But that outside line better start catching up, or else Alyssa Anderson's going to have a head start as we take the green flag. And Alyssa Anderson got the head start, but here comes 
Aaron Williams, her teammate, quote, quote, I'm not I'm saying teammate, quote, quote, because he is no longer Alyssa Anderson's teammate. He is now a part of Team USA. Well, Alyssa Anderson is a part of Team Israel. And now we've got Aaron Williams and Ben Paul, two fell PRWC members, battling for the lead. Here's Jason Marshall, our P our Pepsi Cup Series, uh, our defending Pepsi Cup Series race winner. He's in the mix around here. There's Dylan Young, captain of Team Ireland. And now Ireland 1-2. Oh man, Trent Dunham bounced off the wall, and now he's all the way in the back. As Dylan Young, captain of Team Ireland, will lead the first lap. Take a look at what happens around here in the pack. We're going to go... Uh, yeah, take a look at uh, we'll take a look at uh, Alexander Williams around here in the thirty-three, representing Team Italy. Of course, she is Italian. You see, they're really doing. Oh, Evan Gattuso hit the wall. Captain of Team Italy's in the wall, and he's gonna go all the way down to the back. Oh man, not a good start for Team Italy. Oh, they're wrecking. They're wrecking. Oh man. Oh oh, holy shit! It's taking out the entire field. Look out. Oh my God. And the yellow flag is out. Oh, man. Juan Garcia flipped over. Seth Cole is stopped dead on the racetrack. Who's left? William Duncan is the leader. Richard Earnhardt second. Austin LaPlante has moved his way up to third. There is the, there's the pace car. The yellow flag is out. These are the three cars that actually made it to... No, wait. They did not make it to the start-finish line before the caution came out. So, they are slowing down. And Austin LaPlante has been credited as the leader. William Duncan second. Richard Earnhardt is up to third. Ryana Taylor in fourth. Jacob Bell fifth. Ben Paul in 6th, Dill Poteet 7th, Charles Jackson 8th, Anthony McCurry and Luke Martin are ninth and 10th. But for Anthony McCurry and Luke Martin, their team captain Aaron Williams got taken out on that first wreck. And oh, look at that, he's up in smoke, he's done for the day. Man, Aaron Williams just cannot catch a break on these uh, super speedways, especially Daytona. How much bad luck has he had in, this past few, in the past few races at Daytona? And there's Corey Williams, his unrelated brother. Aaron Williams, his unrelated brother. He's up in smoke. He's done for the day. Kurt Mortanic at Team France. He's up in smoke as well. Preston Plored, Team Captain, uh, Team Russia. He's done. Oh, man. Ricky Hawk, Danny Wells. They're done for the day. They're done. Tony Blazer. Nally Hayden's going to go to the garage. Alyssa Anderson, the native of Team Israel. And the pole sitter. She is done for the day. Trent Dunham's in the garage. I don't know why he's there. But there was huge amounts of wrecks that went on, and I don't know how many cars we are down to. Oh man, the amount of cars right now on the track are 11. The last car in the lead lap is Austin McDonald. So at this point, 11 cars are still left on the track. So we're going to take a good look at that, because that, that wreck took out pretty much at least half the field. Or maybe, maybe 5 eighths of it. But we're going to take a good look at what happened, so stay tuned. Now let's take a look at all these incidents that have happened on lap two. You're going to see William Duncan is going to get into Austin LaPlante. He's going to force Austin LaPlante down to the apron. That, that was not what brought up the caution. Here's the source of the caution. You see Jacob Bell in the 57 is going to get into the 44 of Rihanna Taylor of Team Russia. And then she's going to go onto the racetrack. But then you're going to see she's going to get into Hunter Combs of Team Mexico. And then Hunter Combs is going to slide back up the racetrack. And, oh, look out. And he goes right into Jake Rogers and Rhett Yates. And that's when he thought everything was down. Well, this happens. Look at that. Seth Cole into Hunter Combs. Kurt Mortanic took a hard hit. Dylan Young, team captain of Ar captain of Team Ireland, going to take a hard hit right there. And then you see it's going to be a chain reaction. Oh, oh, someone took a hard hit. That was uh, Jake Baskinger, Team Italy, took a hard hit. You see everyone stuck in the outside line. Alyssa Anderson, Aaron Williams got involved. Juan Garcia took a hard hit. Uh, we're trying to figure out who else got involved. Uh, oh, man, we can't find out. Danny Wells took a hit. It looks like uh, Ty Naughton got a piece of it as well. Uh, Max Skinner got involved. Jake Cole of Brazil. Jason Marshall of France. Juan Garcia of Mexico. Like, Juan Garcia of Mexico, look at this. Look at Juan Garcia and Ty Naughton. Look at that. Look at them. They're just upside down. Oh, man, a lot of cars flipped. Holy shit. Oh, man, even with the drafting distance at 1.1, we still get bid Grex. Unbelievable. Wow. That was not what we were looking for in this stage of this race. Unbelievable. We're going to take a good look at some of the other cars that actually flipped. 
There were a bunch of cars that were flipping over, man. A bunch of cars were flipping over somehow. Oh man, Hunter Combs was already upside down. Who was the first car to flip? It looks like it was uh the first car to flip was I think uh, I'm not sure. Oh, J. Cole. No way. J. Cole was flipped as well, but we're trying to figure out who the first car was to flip. Oh, looks like Jake Rogers was the first one to flip, and then in the 33 car, Alexander Williams flipped over. Now you see all these cars just get involved. They're just piling in right here. Look at that. What a mess. Everyone just piled in. Everyone just piled in. But watch Evan Gattuso. Look out. Oh! Evan Gattuso is going to get into his teammate, Alexander Williams, and then Evan Gattuso is going to flip over. Look at Hunter Combs. He's flipping over. He's got heavy damage on that 21 machine. Oh, man. Everyone at Team Mexico flipped over. Everyone at Team Mexico. Nally Haydens, Hunter Combs, and Juan Garcia took the worst amount of damage there. Oh, man. Two members of Team France, Kurt Mortanic, Jason Marshall. They're done for the day. Look at that. Evan Gattuso in the garage. Uh, Corey Williams with heavy damage. Max Skinner, Jake Rogers, Hunter Combs, Jason Marshall, Alexander Williams, Seth Cole, Juan Garcia, Jake Cole, Emilio Navarrete, all of them are in the garage. At this point, Austin LaPlante is the leader, followed by William Duncan, Richard Earnhardt, Ryan Taylor, and Jacob Bell. That is your top five. Well, we're off to a fast start here. I don't know how many cars we're going to be down to after this one, but we'll have to wait and see, so stay tuned. Rear back pace cars giving us the one to go. Austin LaPlante is the leader, followed by William Duncan, Richard Earnhardt, Ryan Taylor, and Jacob Bell. That is your top five. Then it's Ben Paul, Dylan Poteet, Charles Jackson, Anthony McCrory, Luke Martin. That is your top ten. Austin McDonald is the last car on the track in 11th, and that means we do have 11 cars left on this track. Wow. That wreck took out at least five-eighths of the field. And now we are down to 11 cars as the green flag comes back out on the air for the restart on lap 7. So now this definitely so now with all these cars out, this could definitely change the uh this can definitely change the whole landscape of everything. You see Austin Plant, the leader, Richard Earnhardt and William Duncan battling side by side for the second position. Jacob Bell getting help from uh, Dylan Poteet in the uh, 10 car, captain of Team France. There's Anthony McCurry and Luke Martin teammates. Go into the inside line, and that's the place you want to be. You want to be in the inside line because that is where you'll gain a lot of positions. And as they cross the start finish line, Austin LaPlante will be the leader. But here comes Team USA. Here comes Team USA. Anthony McCurry is going to go to the lead. Luke Martin, his teammate, right behind him. Here comes Charles Jackson and Team Russia looking to the inside, looking for the second position. Oh, now what's going to happen here? You got Austin LaPlante, Dill Poteet, two rivals. You know there's no love lost between... Oh, Austin LaPlante in the wall and Richard Earnhardt in the wall. That's going to allow Austin McDonald to take over a spot in the top 10. And Luke Martin will lead his first PORWC lap. We are just about halfway through this one, and here comes Ben Paul with a huge run. Ben Paul easily taking the lead. William Duncan has moved his way up to the second position. And now Luke Martin trying to, uh, unfortunately he will lose third to Jacob Bell. Now Team USA is down to fourth and fifth. Charles Jackson and Bill Poteet to allies. Well, not really allies here because they are in op opposing countries. They are battling for the sixth position. Ryan Taylor is in eighth. Austin McDonald is in ninth. And Austin LaPlante and Richard Earnhardt are the last cars on the track. Look at all these cars that have DNF from the race. Wow. With just about six laps to go, here comes Team USA right back on the attack. Anthony McCurry. Oh, Luke Martin's right in a box here. That's the worst place you want to be in, in a box, especially at Daytona. Never count William Duncan either. They're going three wide as they go through turns three and four. Oh. Oh, Jacob Bell's in the wall. Oh, man. One by one, cars are going out of this race, and I don't know how many cars we're down to now. We see three cars here and four cars here, so it looks like we're down to seven cars. And at this point, very likely, oh, at this point, very likely, Team USA might have 
the overall series lead at this point because Anthony McCurry and Luke Martin are on the track at this point because those are the only that is the only country with two countries so two with two drivers currently on the track. Everyone else at this point who is still eligible has one, but I think there might be a few nations that have all DNF at this point. We come around with I think four laps to go. Yes, it is four laps to go. Luke Martin gave a little shove to uh, Ben Paul there, and now he's going to get help from Charles Jackson right back to the lead, but Charles Jackson's not going to give in that, that easily. He's going to look for that second position. Now he's going to run down Luke Martin for the lead. Orianna Taylor's falling back just a little bit, so it looks like we're now down to six cars. Orianna Taylor's not too far behind, though. And now Charles Jackson with the inside advantage, and he's going to take the lead. As they come to turn one. Or maybe not. Here comes Anthony McCurry. Anthony McCurry looking for his first career PORWC victory. But never, ever count out the Pepsi Cup Series champion, Dill Poteet. As he's going to go to the inside looking to win it for Team France. Oh, but he lost the draft there. He, Dill Poteet almost lost the draft. But now he's right back on the inside looking for the lead. And he's got the lead. Oh, William Duncan's a little slow, so now it looks like we're down to five cars. This is like an elimination thing here. We're going to come around with, I think, uh, two to go here. Yes, it is two to go, and Ben Paul has the lead as they go through turns one and two. Remember, you want to be a team here. You want to be a team. You want to be a team with a lot of uh, good finishes. We're trying to figure out where everyone else finished. There's Luke Martin for Team USA. Their captain, Aaron Williams, has finished 22nd. So, it looks like he will get, I think, 15 points. But Luke Martin has the advantage so far. Looks like it is a six-car race for the win as they take the white flag. Don't count on either one of these six drivers. Any one of these six drivers can win it. Ben Paul with a huge run on the inside. And he's going to take the lead coming in off turn two. Looks like it might be a battle between Luke Martin and Ben Paul. This is the battle here for third place. William Duncan, Anthony McCurry, Charles Jackson, and Dill Poteet has fallen back to sixth. Team USA is now second and third, but Ben Paul is awfully strong off turn four. And here they come to the stripe. And it's Ben Paul taking home the win. Ben Paul with his first career PORWC victory. Congratulations to Ben Paul. And how about a great run for Team USA finishing second and third. They're going to get a huge amount of points. William Duncan will end up fourth. Charles Jackson will end up fifth. Dylan Pote will end up sixth. Ryan Taylor will end up seventh. Looks like Austin McDonald will end up eighth. Jacob Bell ninth. Austin LaPlante will round at the top ten. And the last car on the track is Richard Earnhardt in 11th. Oh man, Team USA had Ben Paul cornered, but Ben Paul somehow, some way, found a way out, and Ben Paul will end up with the win and the big 36 points. But you also got to give it to Luke Martin and Anthony McCurry, and oh, whoa, Charles Jackson gave a little shot to Anthony McCurry. I don't know what's going on there. Landon Mossy, oh man, oh man, people are just kidding each other. Whoa, this is not what we want to see. What 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 was going on? People were just hitting each other for no re for no apparent reason. I don't know why that was happening, but for let's just take another good look at that. You see Charles, yeah, geez, Charles Jackson gonna give a little shot to uh, gonna give a shot to Anthony McCurry here, and uh, Ryan Taylor. Oh, she's gonna get into William Duncan. Whoa, this is not this is a this is a this is a strange start to the World Cup that we have seen. Wow. Strange start to the World Cup that we have seen, but we're going to take a look at the finish again, so stay tuned. You see, you take a look at our bird's eye view camera. You saw Luke Martin and Anthony McCurry right on that back, right on the heels of Ben Paul. But now we're going to get to the stripe. Watch this frame by frame. Somehow, some way, Ben Paul will end up crossing the line in first. Now you see Luke Martin will end up second. A great debut for him in the PRWC. Anthony McCurry, his Team USA teammate, will end up third. And Team USA will get a huge amount of points, 69, 69 points just by Luke Martin and Anthony McCurry. What a, what a good day for Team USA. What a start for Team USA. You see William Duncan will end up fourth. 
Charles Jackson, Team Russia in fifth. Dylan Poteet will cross the line in sixth. And I think we'll go through one more car. We'll there see one more car should cross the line here. And yes, it was Ryan Taylor who crossed the line in seventh. So I kind of made a mistake there. Team Russia also had two cars, but it's going to be Team USA with the big advantage at this point. And now we take you to your official race results. There's a look at your official race results. Congratulations to Ben Paul on his first career PORWC victory. He will get 36 points, and man, he needed that because take a look at where, where Team Ireland finished. Dylan Young ended up 15th, which is not too bad, but... Uh, I think the uh, the bad one's going to be Corey Williams, who ends up second to last. And man, that was uh, that was big for a uh, Ben Paul to get the win for Team Ireland. But look at Luke Martin, Anthony McCurry will end up second and third, and they will get 69 points alone. And we take a look at where Aaron Williams finished. He ends up 22nd, so he'll get 15 points. So 84 points, a big 84 points for Team USA, and that is huge. And very likely they could have the advantage. As, they, as we go into the next few stages. William Duncan will be the best of Team Brazil in 4th. Charles Jackson will be the best of Team Russia in 5th. Dylan Poteet, the best of Team France in 6th. Ryan Taylor will end up 7th. Austin McDonald will come away with a good uh, PORWC debut in 8th. Jacob Bell will end up ninth. Austin will plant rounds to your top 10. And Richard Earnhardt will end up being the last car who finishes the race on the lead lap in 11th. Rhett Yates actually crossed the line. So yes, Rhett Yates will end up finishing the race 10 laps down in 12th. And you take a look at where everyone else finished. Look at that. Wow. That one single wreck took out two-thirds of the entire field. Unbelievable what we just saw. We'll just go through the rest of the finishing order. Liam Irvig, Jake Baskinger, Dylan Young, Natalie Haydens, Tony Blazer, Alyssa Anderson, Ricky Hawk, Pre Preston Plored, Kurt Mortanic, Aaron Williams, Danny Wells, Juan Garcia, Alexander Williams, Hunter Combs, Evan Gattuso, Jason Marshall, Trent Dunham, Emilio Navarrete, Jake Cole, Jake Rogers, Ty Naughton, Max Skinner, Corey Williams, and Seth Cole. So I'm trying to calculate a bit of points here. You see uh, Charles Jackson, Ryan Taylor, 5th and 7th, they'll get 32 and 30 points, so that'll be 62 points. Preston Plored will end up 20th and that's 17 points so 79 points for team russia looks like they will have the advantage in their group so 79 points for team russia that's got to be a great start for those guys as well so i think that might be the second best team so far in this tournament but the cakes gotta go to team usa there 69 points alone just for just from luke martin and anthony mccurry and then Aaron Williams will add on another 15, making 84 points for Team USA, and they will have the huge they will have the advantage in Group A as we head into Round Two of the group stage. Well, we're off to a fast start here in the uh, in the PRWC In and Out Burger World Cup Series. Congratulations to Ben Paul on his first career PRWC victory, and boy, he definitely could need that for uh, Team Ireland. All right, we will. Um, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great PRWC in the Burger World Cup series. So yeah, all right. And uh, this has been your PRWC president, Kevin Rabbitall, signing off. <laughs>